very much a point game down the road again. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Um, I don't know how many nil nils we've had now, um, but any point, any point in any league when you go away from home is a is a good point. I think, especially in this league, it is uh, it's relentless. You know, it's game after game after game, and you come up against big, big physical sides against full time sides. You know, but let's not forget we're part time. We travelled down yesterday, and we prepared as, as well as we can do. And the lads have been brilliant today, every one of them, um, including all the squad. Uh, a bit disappointed, in all honesty, that we couldn't get a goal in the first half. I think often we're, we're taking a shot when perhaps we could have passed, and um, we pass them, and sometimes we need to get a shot off. I think all, all in all, we need to be we need to be really positive about the performance and positive about getting another another point. That we just need to keep chipping away. Were you surprised when you turned up at the ground? Was there some pitch inspection going on? Yes, I, uh, I know the weather's not been great, but I heard yesterday they had the covers on, so I was 100% confident the game was going ahead. And then just as we were arriving, I heard that there was a, a pitch inspection. To be fair, that the pitch um, held a lot of, held a lot of water, but credit to the ground staff, I know how hard it is um, for people to get the games on. You know, the, the people were forking it and rolling it and, and putting the covers on and off through the week, and even Ben Case helped, helped out again, uh, as it is non-league day. Um, so you know, credit to them for getting it on, and I think all in all, it played quite well in the first half. I just thought it was second half; it got a little bit sluggish, and I think it had a, a bigger impact on us as it did on them. Um, you know, they went a little bit more direct, and you know, credit to them, they caused a few problems. They were a little bit relentless, and the pressure at times was <coughs> was sustained. But you know, we grew. There was a lot of characters out there who did really well. We cleared our lines. and the back three, I thought were were immense, as were everyone else. But the back three, you know, Mark Ross again. Was, was outstanding, Baines and Meps, and then when needed to be called upon, Matteo was really, really strong. And you know, if you'd have said at the start of the season that you'd be playing consecutive games with that back three, I think a lot of um, a lot of supporters would have would have been surprised, really. And, you know, and all three of them absolutely deserved their place in the team. Yeah, maybe one or two has come from an injury or whatever, but they've certainly deserved their place. And I'm pleased for every single one of them. They've shown that they're good enough to step up against Halifax, who are top and Eastleigh, who've got amongst the, probably the top six or seven. In terms of form in the league, with three wins, two draws, and um, and only one loss, so very commendable performance all round, and I'm and, and I'm really pleased for the lads. Were you ever concerned that the game might be called off in the middle? The referee came over and talked to you. And said, no, but... Yeah, he came and had a, a chat with us and asked us what we thought. I think at that at that point it was 60 odd minutes in, and you know it was nil nil. We were both relatively happy. I think if it was one nil to them, I'd have been asking for it to be called off and one nil to us. He may have been saying the same, but we managed to get through it. You know the players were unscathed in the end. I think. You know, with a turn turned up and, and kicked off on the 60th minute, the referee def, definitely wouldn't have played it, and I couldn't have complained. But to be fair to all the boys out there and them, them as well, they, they they got through it, and, and we were both able to pick up a point. I think we'll be more happy than they are naturally with it being a home game for them. You know, they're, as I say, they're a full-time outfit, but expecting to beat us near, near the bottom. But again, we've we've shown that we're good enough to compete with some of these some of these big sides. And with it being non-league, there was a big crowd, no, over 2,000. And Decent following from Chorley as well, 75 fans came down. It was, and I think some of the incentives that Eastley put on is um, very commendable, absolute credit to, credit to non-league. I heard a few of the things that they were doing, and we've been offered food, which is not, not very often you get offered food in this league, but we've been offered food, they've cooked food for us, they've made us feel very very welcome, very hospitable club, so um, thank you very much to them, and a massive thank you to our followers. As you said, about 75 of them making the journey down, I think a lot of them flew down yesterday, made a bit of a night of it and a weekend of it. Um, and again, they, they clap us on. I think they appreciate the effort that the boys are going through, but <clears throat> it's mutual because we appreciate the effort that they're going through. You know, they're enjoying the experience of, of this league so far, but we don't want it just to be an experience. You know, we want to we want to enjoy it naturally, but we want to want to kick on. We want to get out of this relegation zone. And uh, again, today it's a positive step in doing that. And take a break from league action next week. I know I asked you about this on Tuesday. Don't think to spending more come to Victory Park again. Looking forward to that one. I am. I think I'm looking forward to not having a midweek game. You know, we've got Tuesday and Thursday to prepare for it, um, and spending more will be well up for it. There's obviously a little bit of history between the club the, because of the playoff game, <coughs> um, but they're good. You know, they're a good, good side. I don't think they've started their, their season particularly as well as they'd, they'd have hoped, and you know, neither have we. So, you know, they'll, they'll, I'm sure they'll fancy their chances, and, and we'll fancy our chances as well. But you know, it's, a, it's an important game. We want the fans to, to, to turn up. The FA Cup's great, it's prestigious. I mean, last season we had the Doncaster game, which was, you know, go down in certainly, in my memory is one of the, the biggest games to play in. And then we had Fleetwood the year before. So we've done well over the last few years. And I'm hoping that we can do well this year. I mean, we're only won one game away from the first round proper. And I can't emphasise how important it is for us to, to get something from the game. 
there's obviously financial implications as well, which for a club like us is only going to is only going to help us. You know, we don't budget for for the FA Cup money, um, so anything that we get from it is a bonus. But we'll be looking at it as more as an opportunity to get to get a win, to start a bit of a run, um, and hopefully we can do that against Spanish.